Hi guys, welcome to Crime Stories Obsessed. This is Emma and I think we all need to give some recognition to this channel. They are called Dirty Laundry and they made a video on the Summer Wells case as we've all been covering it and there's some really interesting information on this and this lady has really done some research so hats off to her at Dirty Laundry. Now during the interview that Hunter did with the interview room he was asked lots of questions by Chris McDonough but one of the questions that was asked was related to the juice bottle and the skittles on the back seat. Notice Ali's arm move upwards and as if to say Hunter no don't talk about that. Watch. I'm on the motherboard. Now we've all seen the video of Candace driving down the road with Summer laid in the back. And she says, is Summer's arm still up? Is her arm still up? And who we've been told is Grandma in the front, although it doesn't sound like her, turns round and says, no. So we've all been concerned as to who that could be. I have my theories on who it is. I may share that in another video. But this lady at Dirty Laundry has done some research into what these Skittles could have been. And she's tracked down some of the places that they went to that day in the car and one of them was the hippie house. Take a listen to this. I covered hippie house and the products they sell. Not only do they sell traditional CBD and nicotine, but they also carry a product called Delta 8. It's known as marijuana light. The product is illegal in some states, but legal in Tennessee. It is available in flour, vape pens, gummies, and other edibles. Adults use Delta 8 for pain and other benefits, but in June of this year, in East Tennessee, the following report was released. Uh, Sour Patch Kids, they're putting these marijuana byproducts into these gummies, but then they're dangerous for kids because they find them, they get into them, they're going to eat and, and eat because it's candy to them. And so we have had cases of children that have gotten into these essentially overdosed. It's very sedating. They are going to be sleepy, moving towards unresponsive, and then sometimes moving towards not really remembering that they need to breathe, where then it can be life-threatening to them. So is this what happened to Summer that day? She started eating some of the sweets on the back seat. She started eating some of the candy that Grandma had take, got from the shop or mum had bought for herself. Do you remember they were in the store for quite some time? Maybe Summer found the candy that they'd bought from the hippie house and thought it was normal candy and probably ate it. And then when they came back, she started to get more and more drowsy. Now let's hear from Hunter as to what Grandma was like later on in the car. My power. What do you think happened to Summer? To be honest with you, her grandma was out of her mind. Her grandma was out of her mind. Was grandma out of her mind because Summer had accidentally eaten something that she'd got for pain for her knee? Is that the reason why grandma took off over to see her sister because she couldn't stand the guilt? Is that why she's so depressed and anxious right now? What do you think, guys?